better, who better, you better Been around like hella propellers Wanna know who you with, don't tell them Come on fellas, that ain't none of your biz Got on your body suit, you know I'm on your ass today Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be showing you how I'm going to make my hair black, um, super, super dark without a huge commitment on permanently dyeing your hair. This is actually my first time using this. I'm going to be using the Ion Semi-Permanent Cream Hair Color in Black is Black. So basically this washes out in 10 to 15 shampoos and I'm super indecisive about my hair so I was like, do I want to go all the way dark, or do I just want to go a little bit darker, or do I want to go lighter again? And I'm just confused, so I figured why not do a semi-permanent, um, it's not damaging to your hair, there's no hydrogen peroxide, you don't mix it with developer, you literally just put it on your whole head, and that's it. Right now my hair is like a washed out um, 4N and a little bit of 3N. Um, from the Guy Tang line, and it's it's an okay color. I just I just want it darker. I don't know why, but I just want it dark. We're gonna see how this works. So I'm gonna section my hair into four sections. I'm gonna do my roots all around my head, and then for the last um, maybe like five to ten minutes, I'm gonna run it through my ends because my ends are more porous. As you can see, they look a little bit darker right now also so I kind of want to avoid that even though it is black I just don't want the color to like really get sucked up in my ends in case it doesn't wash out so I got two boxes of these from Sally's I believe they were like five or six bucks each so if you want to see what this looks like and the process then just keep on watching hey guys so I am the worst at explaining things so I am going to do a voiceover and tell you guys what I'm doing so I'm just putting the semi-permanent dye into a bowl and I'm sectioning my hair into four sections, two in the back, two in the front. And then I'm just going to start by putting the dye all over my roots from front to back and in between those sections I'm just covering my roots. Um, and then I'm basically starting from the back and the bottom and I'm going to put the dye everywhere except my ends. Um, like I said before, my ends are more porous and I've had a lot of colors in my hair. I've been black and I've been blonde and everything so I don't want the color to really soak up that much in my ends um, because I don't want it to be like a really difficult time if I ever wanted to go lighter. Um, and I don't know how this washes out of my hair because it's the first time I'm doing it. So just to be safe, I'm putting it on last and only letting it sit for a little while. So towards the end, I realized that I was getting pretty low on hair dye and I was kind of freaking out for a little bit, but then I realized that I picked up a blue-black one also because it was buy one, get one free. I was going to give it to my friend Jamie because she has blue-black hair, um, but I really had to use it because I just wanted to make sure that all my hair was covered. And I think it looks really nice. Honestly, my hair doesn't look that blue anyway, um, but I'm just really happy I bought three of them. So my hair with my length, and my hair is pretty thick, I used about two and a half bottles of the semi-permanent dye. So yeah, after I did this, I just let it sit in my hair for 20 minutes, and that was basically it. I blew it out, slept on it, and I'm going to show you what it looks like the day after when I was, you know, I did my makeup and I looked like a human. So let me know what you guys think, and I will keep you updated on how it lasts. better who better you better been around like hella propellers wanna know who you with don't tell them come on